I am going back to school spring semester. I'm ecstatic. Tuesday morning everyone hello it's Halloween we don't say happy Halloween here we say happy Halloween get it we do not have costumes this year just because we're just staying home and last year was our first Halloween in this home since we moved to Tampa Bay from Orlando and we went all out I dressed up Harlow we got the candy I think I had a little witch hat or something, and we got three trick-or-treaters, so there's not a lot of kids in this neighborhood. Or maybe there are kids in this neighborhood, but they go to better neighborhoods, I guess. I don't know. But to be in the spirit of Halloween, I have a Halloween tubi pad. It's cute. And I think I might have like a funny headband for Harlow to wear for a cute picture or something, but that's our plans. This morning I woke up. And I did my exercises. I exercised pretty good this morning. Um, really hurt my, I couldn't do much with my legs because my hip joints are really hurting, but my, ne my neck is still getting some pretty good relief from the cervical injections and the ketamine is still doing a somewhat good job with my muscular pain. Still no headaches since the ketamine, which is amazing. So yeah, we're just chilling. Chilling like villains on Halloween. Come here, you get the ball. You want to show everyone your shirt? All right, let's sit. Let's show them your shirt. Oh, sit. Stay. So I feel so bad because the shirt is amazing. I, I wonder how many of y'all will know where it's from. It says Hawkins Middle School AV Club. It's a pretty amazing shirt. All right, I'll tell y'all where it's from, but I'm going to give you some time to guess first. My friend Aubrey sent this to me, but because of the neckline, I can't wear it with my sensory processing issues. I'm so bummed out. But then I was like, I'll put it on Harlow. She doesn't seem to mind. Okay, go get it, go. Okay. Come on, Harlow. Oh, you look so good in that. Thanks for uh, wearing that for me. So Aubrey, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I love the shirt, but I just, I can't do the neckline. However, Harlow's doing a pretty good job of sporting it. And um, Aubrey actually has a YouTube channel. Come, go get it. She has a YouTube channel, so <laughs> Harlow, it's right here. Hey, hey. <laughs> Aubrey has a YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description if y'all are interested. But it's just so cool. Okay, so this amazing shirt is from Stranger Things because Hawkins Middle School is where the boys go to school and they're part of the AV club. I love this shirt because it's not like obviously Stranger Things, but if you know, you know. So thank you, Aubrey. And for Halloween, I'm gonna watch or start watching season two of Stranger Things because it's out. I waited until Halloween. I recently rewatched season one, so I am ready to go. And I'm really, really glad I got to do my exercises this morning. Like I said, I couldn't really do my leg exercises because of my hips, but I worked out my arms really well and my core to help me with the wheeling with my wheelchair. So heading in the right direction, building those muscles. <laughs> so I've watched two episodes and season two is pretty good, but now I want to share some exciting news with y'all. I'm going back to school spring semester. I'm ecstatic because Last spring, I had to medically withdraw for the first time in my college career, and this fall semester, I didn't go to school because I really needed to focus on my health. It wasn't the choice I wanted to make, but it was the right choice, and now I feel ready to go back to school. It's online, I'm just taking one class because we have a lot of treatments going on, I'm gonna be getting into the higher doses of IVIG, and I don't wanna take on too much, but I think this is the right step. So I've changed my educational goals a bit. I was a psych major going to get a master's in occupational therapy, but having myself convinced that I had to get a master's put a lot of stress on me. And now I've taken that obligation to myself away. If I do get a master's, that's great. If I don't, that's okay too. 
I've also changed my major to communications just because my interests have changed a bit and I feel like this better suits me. In all honesty, when I was shadowing for OT, it was a very physically demanding job and I don't know if that's something I can do practically. Communications, when I looked at the major, all of the criteria really captured my interest and this major is almost completely online, which is even more beneficial for me. So I'm not exactly sure what specific career I want in the future, but I think this area really highlights on my talents and interests and I'm excited to see where it takes me. I have had to make some adjustments because of my health and other things in my life, but just because it's different doesn't mean it's worse. I am just as excited, if not even more so excited, for this new major and now my end goal is to achieve my bachelor's degree. Now that I don't have this thing in my head that I have to get this like looming master's degree, I even feel better about taking my time because I have had to take time off and go part time because of my health and I just feel better about it in general. I am really excited to see where my education takes me and I'll be taking, like I said, one online class next semester. With everything I have going on, I feel like that one class is a really good place to start. I discussed this with my doctors, my disability coordinator at school, career services. I talked to them about my future career aspirations and that's how we landed on the communications major. I talked to my advisor and everything is set for spring. I am so ecstatic and I know it's okay to take a break when needed. I have no shame in that, but I feel like I'm ready and I'm excited to get back to school. All right, I was getting Harlow's Halloween photo and she yawned. <laughs> I got this ferocious looking photo of her. It's really cute. I'm gonna post it on Instagram. Okay, Harlow, okay, you gonna take it off? Harlow, take it off. Take it off. There you go. Good girl, give. Thanks, all right, you did so well. You wanna play fetch as your reward? Go get it, go, go, get the ball. Harlow, get it, go get the ball. Good girl, you did it. You're so good. Give. Go get it. There's a hippo. Say happy Halloween. Boop. What is it, hippo? This big package has arrived. I think I know what it is. Did you investigate, Harlow? What is it? It's a, a stand thing for the bathroom. So I bought that thing for our downstairs bathroom and it's kind of a long story, but I was cleaning one day and then this toilet paper, the holder disappeared. We think I threw it out. Okay, I guess it's not that long of a story. But anyways, we never remember to purchase one or get a new one. So I was like, let's just buy this cool thing from Amazon. And so now it's gonna go in this bathroom. Ta-da! It is successful and I put tissues there. Although the photo says you can put your phone there, but I think this works. Why did I show you all that weird toilet thing? I don't know, I was just really excited for it to come in. And that's what vlogging is, just sharing my day with y'all. And sometimes that means being excited for a toilet paper holder. Look what else came in the mail today. My wheelchair gloves I ordered. I mean, they're not specifically wheelchair gloves. They're just multi-purpose gloves, but they came in pink. Um, one of the reviews on Amazon said that they were the perfect wheelchair gloves. This person had gone through five wheelchair gloves and this was the one they liked best. So I ordered it. If these don't work out well for me, I will try something else. I know some of y'all have suggested gloves, which I appreciate. Thank you. I really do appreciate all the wheelchair tips. Very helpful. I will put a link to these in the description if anyone's interested. And speaking of my wheelchair, my wheelchair guy <laughs> contacted me and said that my smart drive has been ordered. I'm super impressed how quick they are. They ordered it the next day. And because we're doing an exchange, it'll take about two, maybe three weeks to be done. I think I got the latest smart drive model, the MDX Plus, I'm pretty sure is what he said. I'll find out for sure when I get it. And because I'm doing an exchange and my current power assist wheels need to stay in pristine condition, I'm deciding to not use them until, or just not use them again, 
it's not my wheelchair guy saying not to use them. I just know with my luck, I would like somehow weirdly damage them <laughs> using them in the meantime. So I'm just gonna play it safe and not use them so I can make sure the exchange goes properly. But I still have the manual wheels and the wheelchair itself, which is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for me. I mean, obviously it was made specifically for my needs and dimensions, but you know, and although I cannot propel myself without power assist because it puts too much strain on my neck and shoulders, I feel like they're gonna sublux, I still love my wheelchair. And while we wait these two to three weeks for the exchange to be done, Judd can push me and we'll still use it when we go out when I need it, only use it when I need it. And they are still working on finding taller handles so Judd doesn't have to like hunch over to push the wheelchair. But you know, in two to three weeks, Smart Drive will be in and all of the equipment for my chair will be complete. I am so thankful. And it is 9 p.m. We have not had one single trick-or-treater. I have a little candy just in case someone came by, but no one did. So I'm just gonna enjoy myself a little Kit Kat, finish my Stranger Things episode, and go to bed. So with that, I'll say goodnight, and thanks for joining us on our adventure. <laughs>